with these got to be switched on it really let's be honest <laughs> yes then what is going on you guys um yeah thanks for clicking this video i'm gino and we're gonna be going through um today making a um making some drums out of a can of beer old type bud light this video is not sponsored by them but it's nice yeah uh, i just want to say first of all thanks for liking and subscribing it doesn't go unnoticed you know so yeah, and also stay to the end of the video because there's something that I, uh, yeah, something that I want to let you guys know. And um, yeah, so let's crack on. Let's get straight to it. Basically, with this video, <laughs> I um, well, I thought I recorded the entire thing. And these videos, unedited, are about an hour and a half long. Um, and I thought I pressed record and I didn't. So it's finally happened, guys. Is that the, that's like the your worst nightmare when you're doing this kind of thing, I think. Like that's... I done the whole thing and I I didn't press record. So, oh, here we go. So normally at this point I'd say, oh, I don't know how this is gonna go, which is very true. I did not know how this was gonna go. Hopefully it doesn't squirt everywhere. I don't, I don't think it's fizzed up, but you never know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it over here just in case. <laughs> oh, I think we got a good hiss there. I think we got a really good hiss. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think we got a good hiss on that one. Let's see if we can get a... Surely, what else? Um, <clears throat> what else can we get? What? Let me just... Uh... Um, yeah, still I don't I don't know if, don't know what we've got for a kick out of this. Maybe um, maybe if we can fashion something. Removing the mic with tendonitis is uh, proving difficult. Old type the tendonitis gang. I still got it. It's been an absolute nightmare. I'll be honest. That that might ha that might be the kick actually. That might have just done it. So yeah, we got some we got some sounds here. So we got the little fizzing sound. We got different bits that we've. That we can use yeah. as like percussion. Oh, that's that's like a cowbell there. I think I missed that one. Let me, let me grab that and put it on its own line and call it cowbell. Yeah, honestly, I can't believe it happened. It finally happened. But I thought, you know what? We'll just make the video from what we got anyway. I think it'll still be. I think it'll still. I think you'll still. You know, I think you'll still get something from it. Yeah, we had some different, different like twanging sounds. Yeah, and so. First of all, I split it. Um, I had uh, there was this sound here, and we and I used it as the kick, put it on its, in its own line. You know what? It's probably it's probably better doing it like this because it's already kind of I could just walk you through it rather than um, witnessing all of the hiccups on the way. So um, and this this is the kick in its in its final form that I got it to. So uh, the first thing I put on there is uh something making it all mono because at the moment it was all panning to the right because that's the way this microphone is set up and then i got a satin two on it with a warm tube and then so and some level there 645 db uh and then uh, another eq just bringing out the 100 hertz or 106 hertz and also scooped down scooped the bottom there because there was a lot of mud so i took that away and um and that, that's the kick there. Then we've got a kick top um, from not doing a great deal, just a little. And that was from one of the, that's from the uh, fizz. That's from uh, the fizz of the opening the can. So that's that. Um, and that's got similar things in there. We've got a satin uh, with a warm tape. And then on this one, a subtle tube on the top bit. Um uh, and again, nine decimal, nine decibel uh, raise. Um, and then moving on to the snare. 
So I took the, this is the kick, but up, uh, but transposed up 24 semitones. And it's got the same things on there as the kick. Then this snare, um, it's got similar things on there. Minus eight transposed. This was just like a, a part of the, um, just I think the original sound, it sounds like, so that's what that's the original sound. I get. I think it's a something like that. Um, and yeah, with these plugins, kind of sounds a bit snary and um, and yeah, and with a little little reverb on there as well with Tom called Tom Room. I'm guessing that will give it the effect of some sort of Tom snare. Um, and then so so that's those two together. And then as a top layer. Middle layer is a bit loud, actually. Turn that down. And yeah, and then the top layer. That seems to have quite a few plugins on it. Uh, we got. Let's play the kick and snare together. Yeah, so we got um, same thing as the last one, and we've also got uh, this analog pedal. Um, effect on there which is in the space designer that's pretty it's a pretty cool thing to use i i just kind of found it in here while i was looking um so i whacked it on the top layer gives it a little bit of a, a twang but the top layer without the layers without the plugins is like that so just just giving it a just giving it some character all right so then so we're going for the we're going just going for the bait the bait drum bass pattern and then so with the fizz layer had to yeah so this has got a few different so unedited so that's it unedited lovely little sound that um and then i'll split it into a few parts so with this one first just with the satin on there just to bring out the volume a um, and then a space designer reverb then the EQ's looking like this. It's all a bit boosted. And then LFO tool just to really shape it. That is basically doing the whole thing, that LFO tool. And, uh, and yeah, that's that layer. So then with those with those together. And it's got quite a heavy fade in on it. Um, because we've got a, a bit of a fundamental hat over here. Uh, which is this one. Well, this is one of the fundamental hats. Um, so a lot of the work is coming on this, um, on the LFO tool there. Then we got this hat. And on this hat is, well, I say hat, it's, a, it's the fizz from the beer. Yeah, on this one, we added in a transient master just to give it some, tra just to give it like a bit of a, more of an attack on it, more of a sharp attack. Give it the t, -t. Um, so I added on the attack there and pulled down the sustain there. And then we made some shakers. So the shakers sound like this. So and these are from um, these are from this, this exact this same sound. So this, the shakers originally sounded like this. which is literally this. And then I transpose them down, transpose them down five semitones. And so you got, you got some shakers. So we got, oh. lovely. And then, um, and then, yeah, what I've got some of these percussions and, um, well, they're, they're not percussions. They're just sounds, but, I call them percussions for the sake of this. So they kind of kind of fashioned them into bongos. So they've uh, they've been transposed down uh, minus two, and got these as well. I was gonna bring that. I was thinking of bringing those in um, a bit after, a bit later on in the thing. We got yeah, we got a little uh, drum roll here 
I'm just, this is just the snare uh, brought in and then transposed down. Is it transposed down? No, they're not transposed down. They're just there. They're just just being snares. Well, just being beer cans. And this is just another bit. One of the percussions transposed down nine times. And then over here we've got we've got these twangs. So when I, I um this creates like a little twang, and so I thought if we if we drag those out, if we stretch them out like so, and then transpose them up seventeen times, and just with the normal. So this um the the satin two, the pro Q, the satin two, the space designer, and another pro Q, and the LFO tool. That's basically the um the uh, the channel strip that I use for for all of these ones. I I just thought that's basically what these need, and it's kind of working. So I put that on here. So that's the drums. So um so I guess now we've got the drums. Um, we can, I, what I might as well do now is just start making a tune around this. As uh, as as I'm now recording, um, <laughs> and that was going to be, I was going to do that in the next video. But you know what? We might as well, we might as well just crack on and and do it now. Sub so just from serum, I think, and then use the synths from a can of beer. So. All right, sounding flat. Get that on there. You know what? I should have known that it wasn't recording by the fact that my shit wasn't crashing. That's what I should have known. I should have clocked and thought, hang on a minute. My Big Sir, my hashtag Big Sir hasn't crashed once. Maybe, maybe I haven't pressed record. But I know for next time, guys, that's for damn sure. Okay, so I think we should take this and maybe turn it into a bass. Oh, bro, I haven't even saved the project. Shit, that would have been devastating if it just died. Beer, save. There we go. Oh, I didn't save it in the right place. I always do that. Um, organization is a big thing in your, uh, in, in like organizing your projects. I save it all in the Dropbox, in the Dropbox folder, but just then, but it always catches me out. I never think to look for it. You know, I, I always just expect it to be where it is, but it's not. Um, but yeah, I normally save the drinking for nighttime, but. Yeah, for the purposes of today, we're drinking, baby. Um, so come on, bro. Lovely, it's bounced. It. All right, dirty it up a little bit. If in doubt, put another fat effects on it. Old tight the camel fat crew. Oh, it's crashing. Bounce that in place, just in case. It's obviously uh, not enjoying it, just while it's freezing. Okay. Oh, is it this? Of course it is. LFO tool will bite you in the ass if you let it. Like, it is. With the clicks. Maybe another decapitator on there. Aha, uh -huh. these are now a synth, so they go in the synth bus. This is also a synth that needs to come off of that bus. Get one of these. Oh, everything's just called perks now. It's not all perks. Um Let me look up. Bum bum. Yan dun. Why not? Maybe we'll do them the sw little switcheroo. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Let's make some variations of this one. I think we can make this more wompy. And we'll do a little, we'll stick a chroma verb on it. 
You know what? I only just discovered Chroma Verb. Uh, even though I, I looked up when did uh, when did Apple introduce Chroma Verb, it was back in like 10.4, which I've had for this whole time. I've had it for years and years. So it's been on here. I think I, I recognize it when I look on the reverb. I recognize Chroma Verb's always been there, but it's never. I never realized how sick it is, but it's sick. It's like if you're a Logic user and you haven't got Valhalla, this is kind of, you know, obviously it's not Valhalla at all, but it's it's like very it's in my opinion it's close to it it is close to it um so it's a it's a good alternative guys if you're if you're a logic user and you haven't got around to budget in your monthly spend to include valhalla um give this a go maybe put a little sub layer on there just getting the fm signal there So you can keep it frozen logic, it's fine. Bruv, I will play this out, you know. Um, <laughs> maybe not like this, but, but it's getting there, it's getting there. We just need a switch now. Freeze these. Cause my logic is struggling. We we'll actually we'll make this make the these every second ones a bit a bit different. Actually, we can put those we can put those on the on the switch. Every, everybody needs a switch. Maybe another fat effects on there. <laughs> that sounds kind of like a little work. Uh, that is nuts. Uh, I kind of want to use that. Oh. Oh, it's like changing every time. Nice no, with that. It's all coming together now. Get a chroma verb on there. All right. With these have got to be switched, and it really. Let's be honest. All right. So, um, here is this is the this is the the product so far um and um yeah let us know in the comments what you think uh we should build next to it um i'm thinking next video or we'll do like a series in another video we'll build an intro to it but um yeah this is the beer can rhythm yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's going in that's going in all right i did not know that was going to be there that's it one two is it working there we go yes that is forever going in this tune um then that's it one, 
then that's it. One, two, is it working? There we go. Then, then that's it. One, two, is it working? There we go. Yeah. And as that guy said, and that's it. Is it working? There we go. Um, yeah. So uh, that is the final. That is the final product. Let me know next time um, whether you want to see an intro on it or what, what else you want to see on this. If you want to see this, or if you if you never want to see this again, um, <laughs> uh, or yeah, or you want some more beer can rhythms. I think next time I'm probably going to use a beer bottle as well. Old type Bex. Um, and yeah, just wanted to say that. Um, I'm now offering a one-to-one -one tuition. If you want to just, um, if you want to message my Instagram at Gino DMB, my at is in the in the description. Um, and yeah, let us know. Hit us up, and maybe you, if you want, you can make some beer can rhythms as well. Well, you already know how to make beer can rhythms because I just shown you. So um, yeah, if if one-to-one -one tuitions interest you, hit me up, um, and let's let's get to it. But yeah. Once again, thanks for subscribing and liking and sharing. And um, yeah, until next time, big up.